Hey guys, it's Rachel Youngston here from usepeeler.com and wholefoodpeeler.com. We are here with our weekly PLR Power Hour. This is where we ask questions, we give feedback, we talk about our businesses and all the cool things we're doing in our businesses, and we talk most importantly about how to use PLR, what's going on in the PLR world, and that kind of stuff. Um, a lot of folks also take this hour uh, to carve an hour out of their time to actually work on their PLR, and that's fine too. So whatever you're here for today, I'm really glad to see you. And if you're catching the replay, then please know that we will have, uh, we should have all the uh, relevant links in the resources as well uh, on the bottom of this video. Okay, folks, today we're going to talk about something super fun. Um, I was telling, for those of you who just came in, I was telling everyone else that I actually just thought of this topic. And it's funny because I thought of this just today, but it's such an important topic. I'm surprised it didn't hit me sooner. Um, today we're going to talk about free tools to make repurposing a breeze. So when you get your PLR and you, re you know that you've got to repurpose your PLR, and for many people, they look at repurposing as simply rewriting. But one thing that we try to do in the used PLR community is show people that it doesn't have to be um, just about rewriting. It can be reformatting. It can be um, breaking things down and turning them into different products. It could, it, it can take on many, many forms. You know, writing, yes, it's, it's great, but there's also ways that you can, you can take verbatim your PLR and start using it, like turn it into a viral image or, you know, do something to start making use of it. So on that line, hi, Jen, good to see you. Um, <clears throat> so on that line, Greg says, hoorah. Yeah, I know, right? I'm excited about this too. Um, I sat down and I thought about one of the things that um, my customers seem to struggle with. And one of the things that I hear them talking about is a pain point with their PLR. And a lot of the time, what I hear is, I want to grow my business, but I want to grow my business, but it's expensive. I want to grow my business, but I can't pay for someone to outsource. I want to grow my business, but it takes so long for me to rewrite this PLR and put a new image on this PLR and uh, like a new e cover and, you know, to do all these things that I want to do to it. And so, Today, I wanted to focus on, if you don't have that money to spend, this is what you do. And before we get into all the good meatiness of today, I did want to stress, these are tips and tricks and things that I recommend doing in the beginning. Overall, your business is, is your business. So yes, for instance, yes, I put things on Facebook. But I don't put anything. I don't put anything on Facebook that I can't afford to lose, if that makes sense. Because Facebook could shut down tomorrow. So yes, these free tools are great tools. But overall, your goal is going to be to a host things on your site and have your site be the primary space for your business. And b, there's going to be a time when you're going to want to look into. Um, upgrading and and looking look into spending more money to make things a little a little easier um, to have some accountability for for the uh, folks who are uh, hosting your tools you know all that kind of good stuff free when it's free there's sometimes the customer service isn't great sometimes they kind of feel like well you're getting it for free you know um, <clears throat> typically though when you pay for something you got a little bit more of an edge. So um, first thing I wanted to talk about is images. And um, as most of you know, but some of you um, may not, if you can think, of, if you think of a free tool that you use to repurpose your PLR, please feel free to throw it in the chat because we will definitely be uh, talking about everything. And one of the great things about these power hours is when we kind of get together as a, as a group and find different things out. For instance, I learned about something last week um, that I just can't get enough of now. So you can thank Jen Brockman for that, and we'll be talking about that. Um, <clears throat> but the first thing I wanted to talk about is images. And the reason that I like to talk about images is because they're easy to create, 
They take minimal time. They take very little effort. And you can put them out there quickly, whether you decide that you're going to um, turn the images into uh, an e-cover for your book or you're going to put quotes on them and put them out on social media. It's very quick and easy to get your images created. So along that line, um, the first free tool that I use, and I think a lot of folks on this call actually might use it too, um, is Canva. And you will see, you will hear me talk about Canva all the time. Um, there is a free and a paid version. I think we actually may have talked about it just last week, but um, there's a free and a paid version. I just use the free version. Some folks like the paid version. Um, it doesn't give me anything additional for my personal needs. And uh, if you do like Amazon merch though, you may wanna look at the paid version. That's a whole nother conversation. Feel free to let me know if you wanna have that conversation at some time. But, um, but yeah, I know some folks who use it for that. Um, oh, that's my family. <laughs> Uh, um, okay, so you come on into Canva and you get your you get your image. I usually get my images from like Pixabay or um, well, that's really the big one that I get that I get them from. There's another site that I use, but I use it so little. But I used to use Photolia, um, but then I think they merged with Adobe and all this weird stuff. So now I really get them off of Pixabay, and we do have a free guide and use PLR. Um, use PLR for your social media images. That's on the right-hand side of the main screen on usepr.com, and that will walk you through how to find royalty-free images, what to look for, and all that good stuff. Um, <clears throat> but you basically get your image and you upload it, and then you can tweak it. You can do all these fun things to it once it's uploaded. So, like, I just pulled something randomly. Let me. Um. Let me see if I can do this. You can like add something onto something else, but I'm gonna use this one. Um, I'll delete this one. There we go. So now I can take this image and I can type on this. I can add filters here, um, like that, ta-da, it looks very different. You can flip the image. You do all this, all this fun stuff with it. And this is all free. Um, <clears throat> so this is my favorite tool to use. You have uh, for your text options, there's a lot of them. You have all these kind of different fonts and all that fun stuff that you can use for your text options. Again, there are some paid things, but most of these are free. And that's the really great thing about Canva. Now, just so you know, um, our member Greg, showed us showed me this trick so thank you very much Greg for that uh, but there's an extension on this that goes along with the same line of in the same vein of images um, it is called the colorzilla extension for Google and essentially what it does is let's say that I want to do my writing in the same color as this this shirt right here so that it kind of all blends together and comes together so then I'll just click on the extension and color from page, go over here, ta-da, now it's copied to my clipboard. So now if I want to do some image or some text, I go over here, uh, I can twi twist that up. Make it big, change the font, and then come over here, hit add, overwrite this, paste, enter. Isn't really going to show too different because I didn't pick the right color, but there you go. Um, so it, it copies all that coding and then it throws it in there for you. So it's a really nice, easy tool. It's a great extension to have. So again, Canva and Colorzilla. Those are the two great free tools if you are looking for anything to help you with your images. Um, PicMonkey was a great free tool at, some, at one point in time, but I'm not really a fan of it anymore. So um, some folks may have different opinions and if they do, then feel free to share them because we 
love talking to pe to each other about this kind of stuff. Um, okay, so here's my handy dandy sticky note where I have all my Power Hour notes. Um, the next thing I wanted to talk about is the web page builder. I always recommend folks to have a WordPress site. They're very easy to maintain. They're very easy to um, to like craft into what you want them to be. And you can get your hosting from some people go GoDaddy, I go GoDaddy, um, and HostGator for my hosting. Or I go GoDaddy to find the domain, and then I use HostGator for my hosting. Um, Kelly McCausey has a really good uh, hosting company. Uh, and then I've, I've also heard that's like Mom's Web, and there's like Bluehost. Those kind of things do cost money. Um, WordPress does not. WordPress is awesome. Um, you still need a hosting company though. So I don't want you to think that when I say get a WordPress site, what I'm saying is it's just as easy as boom. WordPress is basically something that loads onto the site that you are hosting through, let's say HostGator, it loads onto the site and then it turns that into a blog, a store, whatever you need it to be because that's what WordPress does. Um, so one of the things that I always recommend when you're looking for, um, when you're looking to edit your sales pages is to try to look for tools that make that easier. You know, we've have, we have great things that are paid. We have Thrive, Divi, Divi Themes, um, that kind of thing. These are web page builders and they make very beautiful and easy to navigate sales pages, but you don't always have the money for those things. So. Elementor is a great free plugin um, that you'll just throw it into your WordPress site and I will throw the uh, I will throw the link into the chat box. So essentially what you'll do is when you have your um, WordPress site up, you'll go over into your plugins and you'll upload Elementor from there. And then you can add your titles, you can tweak things, you can add images, and it basically serves as a web page builder. Um, something really important that I wanted to make sure everybody knew um, is that we do have actually a very detailed walkthrough of Elementor, but that's in a separate power hour. And that is a power hour that was done between myself and Kate Rieger. Um, so I will get a link to that in the resource page uh, so you can learn more about that and get a detailed walkthrough but also that is uh, I just also though that is a wonderful free tool to use and that video will show you exactly how you can use it it'll also show you how to get take your PLR sales pages and break them up and put them into Elementor. So then you can actually start building your sales page um, from your PLR. So, note for that. Okay, so um, <laughs> this is Jen Brockman. She's the one that we have to thank for this. But last week, we talked about something called Google Keep. And I saw Jen do, <clears throat> excuse me, I saw Jen do her thing with it. I didn't do much with it myself. Um, but last night, I was going through and I was trying to um, make notes for myself after I had already logged off of my computer. So those of you who've worked with me know that I, li I live with checklists and task lists because otherwise I don't get jack done. And so I have these sticky notes all over my computer um, that I use to kind of keep my life on track. Well, when I log off of my computer, then I have to then make my notes in my cell phone. So then I have to switch over to my, um, so then I have to switch over from sticky notes over to um, um, my Samsung phone app for notes. It's just a big cluster. So yesterday I went ahead and downloaded this Keep app and I love it because now I'm able to do things here, log off for the night, go over to my bed, which is usually where I am, or like a recliner or if I'm out, you know, um, I can access all this stuff. I can change it. If, you know, Jen was saying that when she goes 
to places other than her office. She can easily access this stuff so she can stay on task, which is really, really great. And it's a huge resource for you. So you can make your PLR plan in here, how you're going to repurpose everything. Um, you can keep a task list of what you're, what you're doing and when it needs to be done and all that kind of stuff. You can share things. So if you have an, a team that you outsource to or a VA or anything like that, you can share things with them. Um, and it's just really nice. I will say I don't, I'm not a big fan of all the colors. I wish they kind of let me uh, make my own colors, but either way. Um, so this is really great for keeping your life organized and also keeping your PLR uh, kind of keeping your PLR strategy in place, I guess is a great way to say it. And that is like, I think the best thing about Google Keep is that it's just so easy to use. You like check it off, it goes away and you bring it back. Never mind. I guess I have to do that later. But either way, I mean, that's what's really nice about it. Um, so that is one of my other favorite tools and I just have a couple more for you guys and then I'm going to open this for everybody else because I know that all of our, uh, some folks in our community, they have a lot of great things too and everyone in our community has a lot of really cool things that they like to share when we get t talking about these neat things. The next one is Pretty Links and I before we talk about pretty links, I'm going to tell you, yeah, it does not have, um, it's not really geared towards PLR um, and repurposing a PLR or anything like that. But I still wanted to share it with you because it's a huge part of a successful business strategy and it's a free tool. So currently I have the paid version of pretty links, but I just got that because it was on a Black Friday special. You can do, I use the free version for years and you can do the same. I had hundreds of links at, with no no cost or anything. And basically what this is, is it's a link cloaking service. So again, you go into like your, uh, see, am I logged in? I am logged in. Oh, that's good. Oh no, that's not the right one. Give me a sec. I'm going to log in here. It hit me last week that I just I just do these things and then I'm like oh wait I probably should uh should have some kind of censorship <laughs> rather than like I just expose everything you know that's that's not real smart so um let me go ahead and get in here okay so this is where I have pretty links installed. So just like with Elementor, um, you go to your plugins and you upload this and then it's here. Here's your plugins, add new, you upload the file and then it comes on the side here, just like Elementor does. So with pretty links, you just add a new link and then you're able to cloak your link and name your link and all of that good stuff. Now what it does is now this link will forever say racheladmires.me slash whatever. So if I'm promoting things as an affiliate or if I have a page that's very deep in my blog, um, anything like that, then I can use these pretty links to mask that and make it look a little bit different. So um, it looks like it's tied to me, even if it's not, which is really great. And it's... Um, it's a really powerful free tool to have because of that. Um, I know you guys are saying stuff in the chat box. Uh, I just wanted to tell you really quick, I will get there in just a sec. Um, when I screen share, I can't see so everything. So, um, But thank you, and please keep putting stuff in the chat box because I definitely want to want to chat. Um, well, actually, maybe I can. Let's see. Hello, Pam. It's good to see you today. Um, oh, okay. Uh, Jen Brockman says, can anybody um, recommend a link cloaker that is not WordPress based? So I personally can't, but if anyone else has any ideas, free or paid, please put them in the chat box. And as you guys know, if you're participating in this power hour and you have an affiliate link, to a product that you truly believe in and you have used, then please put that in 
if it's relevant to something someone is asking for. So in other words, um, for instance, if Content Samurai was what Jen needed and Charlene had an affiliate link for that, Charlene could throw that in. You know, in this case, it's a link cloaker. So if you have an affiliate link for a link cloaker that you've used and you like, please feel free to drop it in so that uh, Jen can use it. Not WordPress based. Okay, so um, the other thing that I love about Pretty Links is that it makes it very, very easy for you to go back and see what is working, what isn't working, um, how how things are doing. So you'll just come up here. Here's the first one. Hit this clicks. Uh, I think you hit it twice, I believe. Oh, there you go. And then I know that my blog, this is the uh, used PLR news is my blog feed. I know that that has the most clicks of anything else, um, that link. And then let's see, Trish is the next most and then Kate Rieger. And you know, these are important stats to know because it kind of tells me where my audience is. What's my audience doing? What are they thinking about? You know, where are they clicking? Where are they going? And that lets me know, well, if Trish does something and I promote it to my audience, they're gonna be really happy, odds are, because, oh, look at this. 700 times they clicked on, on uh, one of her pages. So odds are they're gonna want more of her stuff. You know, it's really good for you to be able to uh, tell that kind of stuff and learn that kind of stuff. Um, the other thing is, I word my pretty links a little bit different than some folks do. Um, the first thing I do is I list whether it's PLR or not PLR, um, because sometimes there's personal use trainings and that kind of thing. Um, the second thing I list is the payment platform, whether it's a member, um, Warrior Plus, JVZoo, Infusionsoft, um, iDev Affiliates, then I list who owns that product and the website and then the product name itself. And the reason that I do all of this and I throw all of this in there is because let's say I am looking for a product that I can get instant commissions on. Well, then I know I'm going to go to JVZoo. Some people get instant commissions on Warrior Plus. I just don't. <laughs> um, okay, so now I'm going to go to JVZoo and I say, okay, well, this, uh, this is not PLR, this is PLR. Meal prep, Tiff Lambert, look at all these clicks, 405 clicks. Okay, well, hey, you know what? If I'm looking for instant commissions and I know that this is, has gotten 405 cl clicks, this topic is meal prep, so I know that that's gonna be something that my whole food community is going to be interested in, then this may be a good product to revisit at some point. You know, and of course, you always want to check those links before you send them out to other people because sometimes when these are special offers, sometimes they'll close the page. A majority of times, they don't. Majority of the time, they'll just raise the price and they'll go about their lives and you can keep that link as an active link. Another aspect of that is you can usually, if it's an older product, you can uh, talk to the product creator and get them to make a coupon for you and generally, they don't mind doing that. Um, that's the same for personal use and PLR products. So, um, you know, it's always their call, but it never hurts to ask. And most of the time, if it's an older product, they would ha rather have that product move to some degree than to, and lose a few bucks with a coupon, than to lose the prospect of those customers that might be fresh eyes to their site. Not a sermon, just a thought. All right. Um, next up. We have Mailer Light. So, one of the things a lot of folks uh, talk to me about is I need an email. I need to start creating a list. I need to have um, a place where I can store all, you know, the emails of the people who are interested in my stuff. I need to be able to contact people. And that's where Mailer Light comes into play. I've heard mixed reviews on Mailer Light but I do know people who use it and can continue to use it and like it. So it's really, um, it's really a your comfort level kind of thing, but the purpose is the same. So um, it, it's the same as like Aweber and MailChimp and all that kind of stuff. It allows you to capture emails, send emails and all that good stuff. Here is the mail or light link. And all these links are going to get dropped into the uh, resources on this 
webinar as well. So as you can see, this is all the fun stuff that you can do. Um, I don't know if all of this is with each package, but I do know that they have a forever free plan, forever free ugh, plan um, for up to a thousand subscribers, which is really nice. And again, though, the goal is as you build your business, you are going to want to look at things that help you to grow in your business. And so for in this example, when you hit a thousand and ten subscribers, it might be a good time to say, okay, well, am I satisfied with Miller Lite? Is it doing everything I needed to do? Or would I rather um, look into different, e different options for an email service at this time? You know, is, is uh, ConvertKit and having the ability to tag your folks, you know, which you may be able to do in MailerLite, but I don't know. But is like something where you can tag your, your individuals with different things, is that more beneficial to me right now? Or does this service have better landing pages and easier uh, ways to uh, create your opt-in forms? You know, it's, it's all that kind of stuff that you're going to want to think about. But if you're starting out and you're, you know, brand new, especially, and if you're on a shoestring budget, which a lot of us are because, you know, you're building these businesses from scratch, then this is a great free tool. Um, capturing those emails is one of the most important things that you can do to start growing your business. I cannot say it enough times, and I say it a lot. <laughs> I tell people it all the time, um, just because I believe in it so much. You know, when you capture that email and you've got that that ability to contact that person, it's so important because if they liked what you did once, odds are they're going to like it again. And if they're interested enough in your message to download a free report, then they're basically inviting you to talk to them. So take advantage of that and capitalize on that. Uh, now, in the, in the respect of repurposing PLR, you know that uh, one of the things you can do with your PLR is break your articles down and put them into emails. So like in this case, you would break your articles down, put them into an email sequence, and throw it into MailerLite, and there you go. Um, I don't use it. So I can't answer any questions on it, but I do know some folks who do. So if you have any questions on MailerLite, please feel free to let me know um, and we will get them answered for you. Now, the last thing I wanted to talk to you guys about is something that my regular folks have heard many, many times. Um, <clears throat> this is shopping cart system and affiliate management systems, okay? Uh, very important, especially in the beginning, because in the beginning, you don't have this stuff, right? Let me log out here. So now, one of the things, and I'm just making sure I'm logged out on both. Um, one of the things that you're going to want to do when you have a product for sale or for any kind of price is have a way to have a shopping cart that folks can come and they can download that product and they can use that product. Maybe you can have an upsell to that product um, and, all, and capture that person's contact information. You also want to be able to have affiliates who come in and say, hey, I like that product. I'm going to promote that product. I want to tell my audience about this product because I know it's going to be a good fit for them. And while there's a lot of very expensive and some not so expensive, but there's a lot of different options out there for shopping carts and affiliate management. When you are starting out, especially you don't have the ability necessarily to waste the time, the money, the energy, it takes to learn this kind of stuff um, and just the overall uh, effort of uh, like learn, like getting your hands around all of this, you know? So that's where things like JVZoo and Warrior Plus come in and they're just very simple to use and very easy to use. Before we talk about them any further, I do want to remind you that your ultimate goal is to have your own shopping cart. And the reason being because if one of these folks go out of business tomorrow, you're going to lose all of it. You know, this is not your site. You need your own space where your products are protected. That's, that's your goal is to 
like these are great stepping points. These free tools are wonderful starting points, but your goal is to make sure that your business is, is as protected as possible. And the way to do that is to make sure, well, one of the way to, ways to do that is to make sure you don't lose any of your products. So this is a great starting point. Get your own shopping cart at some point in the future. I would say once, as you start like uh, earning money from this, you know, and you start feeling like comfortable and you're able to um, feel like you start, you start to get like an affiliate following and that kind of stuff, maybe it's time then to look at something else. You, you can still use this in addition to whatever else you have. Um, a lot of people do use this in the PLR world. They use these, these tools for uh, growing their lists and launching sales and all that fun stuff. The basic, the basic thing about Warrior Plus and JBZoo is you create, like let's say I've created a product, I then upload it. I use JVZoo more than Warrior Plus, so I'll just go over here so you know what I'm, um, I upload it, and then JVZoo will ask me, what do you want to do with this? Do you want to create a sales funnel? Um, do you want to have like a downsell? How do you, how do you want things to work? And then I say, well, yes, JVZoo, I do want to create a sales funnel because I'm going to be selling this and I want to make, you know, I want to make uh, money with this. So. Uh, let's see. As you can see, I've done stuff for a long time over here. Let's see if I can get over here and I uh, get into the specs so I can show you. Um, but basically, once you create something, then you upload your product, you get to create the sales funnel, upsell and downsell, which is really nice, and then you have the product, and you get your sales code once you create your product, you put that code on your sales page, and boom, it's like magical. Affiliates can upload their own products as bonuses, which is a huge draw for affiliates. Affiliates like to be able to have that edge when they're promoting things to say, hey, I've got this thing that you can get if you are buying through my link. Um, so affiliates love to do that. And this makes it very easy for them to do that. They like to get paid quickly. And if you, you can definitely set them up for instant commissions so they get paid quickly. Um, I would suggest that you only do that with people that you know um, or have some kind of connection with because people can get really scammy when it comes to affiliate stuff. So you really kind of want somebody that you feel like you can trust before you put them on instant commissions. But the option is there. Another great thing about JVZoo is you only pay, or both of these sites, is you only pay when you make sales. So if I put something up and it gets nothing, everybody hates it, nobody wants, nobody wants to do anything with it, then good news, I'm not just paying for it, you know, because I don't have the money to do that anyway, right? So we're looking at free tools here. So we don't have to pay for it. If, you're, if nobody's buying it, you don't have to pay for it. So all of these things are really great. And then you throw in the fact that you can schedule when your that shopping cart will become open. So in other words, I have this product that I've uploaded to JVZoo. It's going to launch on Wednesday at 10 o'clock. I don't want people going in before Wednesday at 10 o'clock, but I obviously have to do my sales page, right? So I do my sales page. I put in the shopping cart code that I get from JVZoo. And JVZoo says, well, Rachel said that this isn't going on sale until Wednesday at 10 o'clock. So you can't access it, my friend. They click on the link and they get nowhere. And that's, that's another great feature of these, these services. And that, my friends, is my chatter for today. So I want to see what's going on in our chat box here. Um, unfortunately, we don't have any answers for you, my friend Jen, as far as the WordPress stuff. Does this make sense to everybody? Does anybody have any questions or does anybody have anything else that they want to share, especially? Is there some free tool that you use in your business that you want to talk about? And even if it's not related to PLR, if you truly think that it can help our folks in our community uh, grow their businesses, then please feel free to share it. I love these tools that I have shared with you today. I think that they all have a very strong connection to PLR, and that's why I chose them. Um, but you know, we all use different things in our businesses. 
and a lot of they're all like great things to use um, and a lot of them are free uh, Patty says great info Rachel oh thank you Patty I love it when you make these calls you're my best cheerleader um, <clears throat> so then let's go into the second portion of our hour now that I've done uh, rambled and rambled what does everybody have going on today does anybody have any questions for me today do you have anything that you want to chit chat about or anything about your business that you want us to know please feel free to show me in the chat box or you know send me something in the chat box Carol says great stuff helpful thanks you're welcome Carol thank you very much so fun fact about Carol when we very first started these power hours she and I were the only two people on like one of my first power hours and she was so sweet she stayed on the entire hour <laughs> she was just so great she did she was a great so now carol is like one of my favorite people <laughs> and she's she's hung with me for this uh a little over a year that we've been doing all this stuff so i don't know year and a half i guess but yeah she's hung with me so thank you carol um Char Charlene says, I know you love Canva. I don't. I like Snappa. Uh, their free version allows you to create and download. The best part is the templates. They're awesome. Let's see. I've never heard of Snappa. And see, for those of you who are newer to our, our calls, this is why I love having this community chat time because it gives us all a chance to kind of learn new things. I never knew about Callerzilla until Greg told me. I never knew about the Google Keep until Jen told me, um, you know, and so we're all, I feel like it's not like a teacher, one person's a teacher and everybody else is learning. We're all, I think, learning from each other, um, <clears throat> which is great. I have never seen Snappa before. So let's go ahead and I will drop this, I will be sure to put this link into the chat box as well as into our resource notes. Um, Greg says we are a sharing community. And yes, my friend, we are, which I really love. Um, because I feel like we all have something to contribute, you know, and it's super important that we do that, you know, share our knowledge. The other thing is, I see a lot of people who kind of, and I'm not saying our community, you know, but I have seen, um, other folks, um, I have seen people kind of shy away from mentioning things or talking about things um, during calls like this just because they kind of feel like the person who's leading the call is the one who, you know, is leading the call, which is great and it's very respectful. But I kind of want to do things a little bit differently. I kind of feel like I like to know what people are, what people have going around in their minds, you know, what's going on. Everybody has a different journey. And like, especially like, our, our friend Charlene over here, she is, uh, she has uh, been um, a VA for a very, not a VA, sorry Charlene, not a VA, um, but she has, she's done writing for my, myself, she's done writing for other folks, you know, she's, she teaches a mastermind, I mean, she has a lot of great input and insight, and she's been doing what she does for, you know, quite a long time, so she's very respected in our community. And so to get free, free tips from someone like Charlene is great. Um, Greg says, okay, hold on. <laughs> uh, Charlene says, LOL, researcher, writer, and mastermind group expert since 2008. There you go, my friends, which is like, what, 18, 10, uh, like 12 years, I think. I don't know. Um, Greg says, Charlene, thank you for sharing Snappa. Uh, Patty says, Here's some info on the link clickers for Jen. Uh, Carol says, thank you, Charlene. Just scanning down. I see the images are all free and for commercial use and advantage over Canva. That is a great advantage. Um, Brenda says, thanks, Rachel. I always discover new info and resources on the Power Hour. I love the open sharing. Thank you, Brenda. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Um, Charlene says, I used to teach online marketing in workshops and in person. Uh, I owned an online marketing agency until 2016. See, it's so cool. You never know who, you, who, you, uh, who you're connecting with, you know? Um, but yeah, so this is, this is what Charlene was telling us about. Um, 
I really like the free high-res stock photos. That's pretty cool. So now uh, I'm going to say let's try Snappa too. Let's do Canva. Let's do Snappa. Um, get started for free. So I assume it's plans and pricing. Let's see. I'm assuming that you have a forever free plan like you do with Canva. looks like they do limit your uh, your downloads per month but quite honestly I use like when I use um, images and I create these something in like Canva it's usually a flat cover well it's always a flat cover but my purpose of taking that is to take that cover and turn it into a spiral and a report uh, image and um, a report cover and that kind of stuff so I'm basically taking one image and throwing it through a lot of different things to make it look like different products so three downloads might not seem like a lot, but remember you can take those downloads and then you can put them into something like eCover Authority to then turn them into like a report binding and a spiral binding and that kind of stuff so that when you put your product page up, it looks like different products. Um, that is really cool, Charlene. Thank you so much. I love when Charlene drops stuff because <laughs> she always knows what she's doing, which I love. Um, Okay, so we are going to, uh, I'm going to play with Snappa. I guess we'll talk about that at some point, too, because I really like that. Um, we're going to go ahead and I'm going to make this part of our show notes. So I'll just do that real quick. Does anybody want to talk today? Does anybody have anything that they want to uh, get off their chest, anything that they have going on in their business, anything they want to chat about. If you have any questions on our upcoming bundle that you want to go over, anything at all, just feel free to let me know in the chat box. Um, also, if you want to strictly lurk today, which is totally okay, some folks do, um, feel free to just throw lurk in the chat box, and that means that I won't ask you jack. <laughs> Sorry, folks, just working on our show notes real quick. All right, so Kim says she's going to lurk today. Totally okay, Kim. Pam Collins says lurking here. No problem, Pam. Hey, it's great to have you today, by the way. Um, and you don't need to reply, but just, just an FYI, um, if you're newer to PLR, you can go over to usePLR.com, and we have a lot of free reports over there that will help you get started, uh, no cost to you, and feel free to join us anytime. It's really great to see you today. Um, Carol says, digesting the great resources, <laughs> nothing to say. Ah, uh, yeah, I'm with you, Carol, and that's one of the things I love about these power hours is that I, like, like when, Car uh, when Jen mentioned Keepa to us, or keep. I do Amazon too, for those who don't know. So I'm like in two places at once. But for those who mentioned, or for when Jen mentioned keep to us last week, I was blown away. And I'm like, how did I not know this? Because I live for checklists. How did I never know this? And the funny thing is, I've been looking for something for like the longest time that I can easily use on my computer and on my phone. So like, I had no idea that it, that it even existed. But you know, that's why we do this. And the other thing is the uh, Google stuff is really, it's not just free, but it's really good for your business and really easy to use. And I don't know very much about a lot of the Google tools and I definitely don't know about using them to their full capacity, but we have some great trainings on the, our past power hours. Um, for instance, Jen Brockman showed us how to use uh, Google Drive to organize our PLR, which is a really big deal. And we also have stuff about like the Google Calendar and all that good stuff. So feel free to digest all of that um, because it is really good for your business. And uh, like, like I said, they're all free. So nice tools. Um, Brenda says she's going to install Google Keep today. Yay! Yeah, you know, I just went to uh, keep.google.com, and you have to sign in, but then it's there, and yeah, and it's so fun. And then I went on to my uh, phone. Um, I have a Samsung, but I'm sure an iPhone does Google stuff too. Um, but I just went on my phone, and I looked up Keep, and then I found it there too. So 
yeah, pretty simple. Um, Patty says Trello is another free tool that helps with organization. Yes. Oh, gosh. See, this is what I love. Yes, Patty, exactly. So um, we also, for those of you who haven't been here before, we also have a training on organizing your PLR with Trello for those who like the uh, Trello boards and that kind of thing. You can find that in our Power Hour, uh, in, our, in the discussion, I'm sorry, in the units portion of our um, Use PLR members group. But yes, Patty, exactly. Trello is a great free tool. Um, that's actually how we're keeping everything in line for our upcoming bundle over at USPLRs with Trello. Um, <laughs> oh, Brenda says, how can I find the session on organizing my PLR on my Google Drive? Mine is a hodgepodge. <laughs> Brenda, you're hysterical. Um, yeah, Charlene, would you mind sharing your screen? And while you're doing that, I'm going to look up the uh, the um, YouTube stuff for uh, Brenda. If you don't mind, that would be great. Nope, I don't mind. But do you have to? No, you don't. It's letting okay. you. Yep, Hold you on. should be able to do it. How are you, okay. my friend? I am good. I am good, thank you. I'm, I'm very, very tired. Ugh. Did you did you work like a, a a slower schedule yesterday because of the holiday or? Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> Good no. for you. I did. I was like in my recliner all day. I was like, hey, this is great. <laughs> yeah, no, but see, I don't have any. It's just me at the house right now. So, mm -hmm. um, what I what I do for those who aren't um, committed to other people in the household. And um, who really, you know, your time's your own, which pretty much is me. My mm -hmm. husband, it's not an issue, right? Meaning that I, my time is my own. The way I like to work is I go in spurts. I go whole hog. And then when the project is done or the multiple projects are done, I take a day or two. And it does, that's the way I've always worked since I've owned my business. It's one of the things that I love, not being tied to a Saturday, Sunday as my days off. Um, oftentimes what will happen is when I'm scheduling ahead of time for a road trip or for uh, something in particular that I need to be available for or want to be available for, mm -hmm. everything around that ahead of time. So uh, essentially what happened was I scheduled everything so that I could have today to catch up on rest. And that's what I've done. I love that. <laughs> so I'm very, very tired. I'm really <laughs> bad at that, at like it's chunking okay. up my time that way. But it's so smart because it's so easy to get burnt out too. It is. But I, I've wanted to nap, but for some reason I'm not able to. So I joined you here and <laughs> either, you know, get hyped up and full of energy or I'll take my nap. So anyway, what I wanted to show everybody and why I love Snap, I, it's not my only tool, um, but I have the paid version and that's because I use it so much. I want to save my graphics and I'll show you that when my saved graphics are now organized into folders and these are all templates that I simply modified for my use. So you can see the variety that's available, right? Let me move down here. There's my, my cover that I made for my, um, yeah, I, I released that product a little while back. These are blog featured image for some blog posts I did. This is a Facebook post. This is in my PLR mastermind group that I have for creators. And these are the images that uh, I post every day to either ask a question, give a tip, you know, ask you for a tip or about product creation. So for consistency's sake, I keep it all looking the same, right? But that's the template. I mean, I didn't get fancy. Trust me, I'm a writer. I'm not a graphic person. <laughs> Here's a custom graphic. Now, when it says custom, that means that I selected the size only after using the template and realizing it wasn't going to fit. So then I went in and said, oh, I've got everything I want. I just want to custom size it. Um, let's see, a lot of Facebook posts here. But then here's um, a LinkedIn post, right? Because it's a completely different size. I don't have to guess whether or not it'll work. Here's a YouTube thumbnail. 
Yeah. Every, pretty much everything you're seeing are, is kind of boring at this point, right? So, Twitter, Instagram, and again, I didn't have to, all I did was pick the, the template and then start playing with a little bit on a couple of them, left it as is, um, and it just, the colors match what I want it to match, right? Um, so if, I'm, if I wanted to match the color scheme of this, which is an Instagram post with the Pinterest pin template, I just copy pasted the uh, hex code for the color. But you can see the variety, right? And the fonts and the color schemes. I mean, we're, let's create a graphic. <laughs> A Facebook post, and I don't know what I want my Facebook post to look at, look like. So I'm going to um, any minute now. My internet will catch up with us. I'm going to select from a template. Which one will I select? <laughs> up to you. <laughs> Which one matches what you're working on? I, you know, you don't have the beauty of it. I don't have to be a designer. The other, the other um, tool that I use is Get Stencil, which is fabulous, but its templates, although so very similar to these, aren't as neatly laid out. And I got it on a special lifetime purchase quite a few years ago, so I still use it. I use it primarily to get images from, um, but this is worth money to me to have these templates available for what, you know, I have the $15 a month version. So I can go in and uh, select template. I'm thinking of you, Rachel, with your whole food. I love it. I can. So I come over and say, I want to change that pink. I don't know what's a good food color. You tell me. Um, yellow. Um. I do a lot of purples. Blues are great, like the navy blue. Purple. There we go. We're just going to change that to purple. And I don't have to look up the hex or anything. It's right there. So we're going to change that to purple. And then we just say, oh, wait a second. Um, you know, phone number is not a big deal. I can just highlight and type in a number. Um, temp little icons, though, right? I don't like them. I don't even know what it is. So I decided I'm just going to highlight, delete, and I want to put in a graphic. I want an icon, and I want a food icon. So I just select food, do a search, and <clears throat> whatever comes up doesn't have to make sense. I'm just going to show you how easy it is to, to deal with this. Uh, apologies, I have slow internet. It's not quite dial up though, so for that. You know. No worries, my friend. <laughs> um, I want to put a little color, but I want it to be healthy. So an apple. Oh, there we go. I just clicked it. I got a little impatient. Put it down. Put it over. Got the the uh, lines right to tell me whether or not it's centered. And no, I don't want to order anything. I actually have decided, um, I just want you to make a reservation. I'm just going to turn that around a little bit. So you can see up here that I have an untitled design. If I want to save this, I can title it now and just simply save. And it'll go give me an option to save into one of my folders or what have you. Or I just go direct to download. Now. So the download is done, right? But I've decided I want to change this without really changing my original image. So I duplicate, view the new image, get rid of the old one, I just deleted that tab, and now I'm starting with something new, and I know it is because it says test copy in the name. 
This is what it made what made it so easy for me to go into my graphics and I need I need new product creation questions or things for my PR mastermind. I can go here. You can see distinct distinctness. I don't want to mess with the original. So what I do, and again, this is the paid version. I just duplicate, let that load, get rid of the original, make sure I'm working with the duplicate. And I'll go up to the name and look for the copy and if it is, and I come in here and, you know, my new topic is, um, I don't know, we're gonna come up with something. While Charlene's doing that, I will say that I do believe that's something that this has over Canva is I don't believe we can duplicate things very easily over there. Maybe you can, but I don't ever know how to do it. So I wind up pulling an old image and then getting frustrated. So I like that. Okay, so enjoy creating your product. Now I come up here and I simply change the name to enjoy. I decide, yeah, everything looks good. You can tell them that probably needs to be bigger. When I go to save it, these are the steps I take to ensure that um, I'm not overwriting something. I save it to my PLR mastermind group. Now, at this point, I can go to and put it into my uh, folder in my hard drive. But having said all of that, let us go to background and photos. You're going to be very familiar with everything you see here. It's the same thing that comes out of uh, Get Stencil and Pixabay is one of the free tools that they bring those photos in from. So you can search under what keyword you think is necessary, right? So we do food. I'm stuck on food. I'm not hungry, but I'm stuck on food. <laughs> oh, well. So I decide I want to make that a background. I have an overlay. I have these here that I can just simply delete, right, if I want to. But again, going to background, I can also decide that I want a pattern. So you see it's similar to Canva, but there are some differences that make it worthwhile. So I have gradients. And there are other patterns in here you can explore. There we go. I was looking for. So we have textured backgrounds, um, uploads, so anything I want to upload on my own, and then color, if I have a specific color that I want to match. So I just, I just, I think it's awesome. So <laughs> I wanted to um, share it with you. I am so thankful that you did. Patty says uh, she likes Get Stencil as well, um, mm. but she agrees with you that they could do a much better job on their templates. Uh, um, she says it is super easy to use, but their templates aren't that great. Uh, Carol says you're doing a great demo, and she's definitely going to try it. Thank you, Charlene. And I second that. Thank you, Charlene. Does that um, mean I need to give you my affiliate link when I find if it? If you have an affiliate link, then yes, please do. Please okay. DM it to me so that I can get it in the uh, resource notes too. Okay. Um, and also, I am likely going to mention in the um, resource page the free trial of Content Samurai for those who sure. want to do video. So f feel free to throw that to me too. I'm going to stop sharing now. Okay. Um, the thing with Content Samurai, they are now undergoing a brand uh, change. And most of us are like, oh, geez, this is, we don't know if it's. Mm. Not brand rebranding is always iffy. They're now going to be calling themselves Vidnami. And the first thing we said was, Do you know how difficult that is to say? <laughs> Second thing we said, <laughs> we in the user group, right, was there's nothing wrong with content samurai. We understand the mission has now become very all centered on video, but you're now going to sound like everybody else. So we'll see how it works. So don't be surprised if there's a redirect with okay. content samurai links. The links still work. It's just I wanted to forewarn you that um, you, you may start seeing some changes in the user interface. I can't stand it when that happens. Uh, if it's not well, broken and they try to fix I'm it. You. 
I'm telling you, the, the product itself works fabulously. I'm still creating videos like crazy. I can show you tons of videos I've done to go with some of the, you know, what I did with my YouTube thumbnails, you know, but on the videos that I create in, in Content Samurai. Um, so I, I can't say enough about that product. It takes, I would guess somebody who's reasonably tech savvy, meaning, you, you know, you've been online for a while and you can pick up new tools within a, you know, within a few days you know, of practice, we had a couple hours, uh, you would be able to pump out a video on Content Samurai in less than 30 minutes the first time, as long as you have a script, which you get from your PLR, and you copy paste it, and then you say yes to the videos it automatically puts up to match with your script, and you've got your video. And you know, guys, uh, Charlene actually did a PLR Power Hour for us on uh, using PLR to make videos, and she talked about Content Samurai. Mm -hmm. So that should be in the units section of the group, but I'm going to hunt down that link for the resource well, the notes if you can wait gotten, until then. The things have gotten better, the, the incredible amount of, uh, of music, is the background music has changed, and they have templates now for um, ads if you want to do social media video ads. Really? Yeah. Nice. <laughs> it, is. it is. That is a lot. <laughs> like, I remember the last time you showed us, we were all kind of like, wow, it can do all that. So that's pretty I'm impressive. Happy. You know, somebody had mentioned before I, I get off here, and I, and I will after this. Is, no, no. Uh, <laughs> somebody had mentioned that it was the, um, uh, the, the audio was very, very low or difficult to follow on the last the last power hour I did with Content Samurai. I don't know if it was because I was wearing a headset or not, right? Because I don't know if you could even hear the the music. I'll have to check that out. But anyway, so I'm gonna I'll offer that now that some changes have occurred, I'll be happy to do another walkthrough. Oh so I, I will see what really is available there. We will take you up on that my friend. Okay. Let me and let me check our schedule. Know. We'll uh, thank you. <laughs> just let me know, and if my schedule works with yours, I'll be happy to do it. All right, I'm out of here now. <laughs> thank you, love. I appreciate it. All right, you guys. So that's our power hour. If anybody has any questions between this week and next week, please reach out to me in the USPLR members group on Facebook or uh, Rachel at USPLR.com. I can always be found in either place. Uh, feel free to tag me in anything. Um, Feel free to ask questions in the group, as long as there's no link posting, because I do get a little funky with that. But have a wonderful week, everybody, and I will be talking to you soon. Um, Patty says, thank you, Rachel. Great workshop. You're more than welcome, Miss Patty. I am so glad that you were able to come today. Um, all right, everyone. So that's a wrap. I will see everyone next week.